I feel very strongly that I was influenced by growing up with my kuya, both kuya, who were weavers. As I got older, of course, my mind flicked back and now I'm, this is, you know, I've had my children and I'm learning more about my uh, Māori tanga. I remember growing up with one of my kuya and she lived in the kaota, just tin framed walls, great big fireplace and a dirt floor. This kuya had woven mats on the floor, heavy ones first, and then she would weave pretty ones to go over here or over there where the people are going to sit. Another kuya, Etera Foley from over at Rangitihi, and she did the Taniko Korowai. And uh, when Auntie Bub would go and visit her kuya, she would take me with her because I could look after the, her baby. <laughs> so I would, I would go. And there, there's her stand there with her mahi, and I would get drawn to it. And I'd sit on her chair while she's talking to um, Auntie Bub, and she would tell me to, Anna, mahia. And I would sit there and I'd look. I could read what she was doing, so I would do some tiny on it. Now I know what we're going to do. So these queer was very influential in my pathway of Raranga. I never forget them. They come back to me all the time. Oh, it looks fantastic, doesn't it?